Welcome to St. Andrew's Daily Prayer for Sunday, March the 5th, the second Sunday in Lent. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. A reading from Psalm 150. O praise God in his holiness, praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet, Praise him upon the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dances. Praise him upon the strings and pipe. Praise him with ringing cymbals. Praise him upon the clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let us pray. God of life and love, whose Son was victorious over sin and death, make us alive with his life, that the whole world may resound with your praise. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Gospel reading this Sunday is from the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verses 1 to 17. Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. How can someone be born when they are old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. How can this be? Nicodemus asked. You are Israel's teacher, said Jesus, and do you not understand these things? Very truly, I tell you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But still you people do not accept our testimony. I have spoken to you of earthly things, and you do not believe. How then will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. By the power of the Spirit, and in unity with Christ, trusting always in God's life-giving intent for creation, let us pray. Lord, we give you thanks for this world, made by you to be a good place for all life to flourish. Give us wisdom to use our skills and technologies with sensitivity and care, and grant us moderation in living in ways that are sustainable for generations to come. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for peace in our world, that laying aside the temptations of blame and aggression, we may instead pursue the ways of gentleness, diplomacy, and understanding together. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, by whose grace the whole of humanity is called to praise you, be with us on this Sabbath day in our singing and our speaking and in the meditations of our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for the gift of relationship 
for the blessings of friends and family, and we pray that we would have the wisdom and steadfastness to nurture our relationships well in good times and bad. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of all comfort, we thank you for the gifts of life and loving relationship with one another. Bring to those in the darkness of grief this day your light and your warmth and peace in your keeping. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear God, help us to order our lives in faithful obedience to you so that we may come to know our weaknesses and appreciate your grace at work in our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creator of all, you brought this world into being from nothing and sent your Son into it to redeem it at the cost of his life. May we, who in this holy season remember his sufferings for us, be brought to understand something of the depth of your love from which not one of us can be separated, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me as we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless the work of our hands. Amen. Amen.